For our final step, we'll connect the template with a product in our store. Go to Link Products to select a product from your store and assign a template to it. By clicking Choose Template, you'll be able to connect the product with a template from your list. Once the template is assigned, we will create the options customers will use to make their choices. These are the dropdowns, swatches, and text inputs customers will see on your store. Simply name the option set for this product and it will be assigned to it automatically. You can see the created option set in gray. Let's check how the product looks. Options for the photo upload and the text are looking good. However, we can see that options for the phone model are double. There is one for the background and one for the mask. This is because Customily will automatically create an option for each layer of the template. But don't worry, we can correct this manually. Let's go to Option Sets and click to edit the option set we created, so we can have just one phone model option. Let's find the mask option and delete it and delete as well all its categories that appear below. The only thing remaining is to make sure that when customers change the phone case option, the layer for the mask will change as well. To do that, we'll expand each phone model option and look at its functions. It already has the function to change the dynamic image with ID3, which is the phone case background. So let's add another function for it to change the dynamic image with ID4 as well, which is the mask. Repeat that with the options for all the categories. Save the option set, and let's check the product again. And, there it is. Just like that, we have the preview and the options working perfectly. Now go ahead and try it yourself. If you have any questions, click the link below to visit our help center. Goodbye and happy customizing!